Salutations, cosmonauts. So I'm trying to build my outpost, right? Well, my outpost is built. My main base is what I'm referring to. But I'm trying to deck it out. I'm trying to decorate it. I'm trying to build furniture. I'm trying to build mannequins. But I'm running out of uh, resources, materials, stuff like structural and ornamental and membrane, polymer, stuff like that. So I'm like, man, I don't want to go shopping. I'd rather have another outpost sending me all these things. And I found the perfect place for that. So we're on Oberum. In the Oberum Prime system. Which is just um, southeast of Alpha Centauri, southwest of Olympus, really close. And yeah, I've already taken the, the time to survey this planet. I had a lot of fauna, man. But it didn't take too long, it was alright. I already placed a beacon, and I already renamed my beacon. So gold, structural ornament, pigment, membrane, and polymer. So, you want to see where I placed my beacon? Of course you do, let me show you. So, I found a nice flat-ish area that I like. So let's go and do this, man. Um, let's not even waste any time. So yeah, you can see all of this gold. I don't really... I know I need gold for like a handful of things. This isn't something I really need. But since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and collect some. Not a lot. So we'll start with the extractors for the gold. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. Just the basic extractor. I'm going to place three of these. Sort of half haphazardly placed. All right, those are placed. Let me go ahead and uh, go ahead and just make some storage for these guys. So, I'm just gonna build uh, the largest storage thing I have, and I'm just gonna place two. All right, cool. Go and connect this up. I'm trying to stay organized here. I even have some uh, notes that I made to follow. So hopefully, uh, this will be a little bit more co coherent than usual. I know, perish to that. Alright, I wanted to place that first just so uh, I knew where not to build on top of, you know, so that's good to go. Alright, with that in place, um, I'm gonna want a ship uh, my uh, landing pad with shipbuilder. Why is that over there? What's going on? There we go. You know, just place it off to the side so it's not in the way of anything. Put it towards the middle of this circle here. Alright, got that going on. Alright, with that in place, um, I'm gonna want, um... I'm going to want to build some barns or animal hus husbandry facilities. I'm going to place them over here see if I can destroy some of these rocks. This other one over here. Face it inwards. So that's in place. And uh, yeah, I'm going to build the storage from this stuff. Just one large container for each facility here. One there. One over here. Go ahead and connect these. There we go. Look how organized I am. I'm so proud of myself. And uh, I'm going to build like six greenhouses now. See if I can make this look somewhat nice. Nice and neat in a row. The terrain will uh, cooperate with me. Right, and then um, I'm going to do the storage for this, of course. Alright, so I want um, storage for each one of these is going to have its own storage. These two at the top here. But these four down here are going to have, are just going to share, um, well, I'm going to make a double for this. Alright, so that's uh, the storage for my greenhouses. The bottom four is going to be the fiber that feeds my two barns, and the top two greenhouses is going to be for the resources I need. And uh, let's go ahead and connect the storages. I'm going to do the power very last. That way everything sort of starts up at all at the same time, you know? Alright, so now uh, everything is uh, everything basically needs water, so I got to produce the water. And I'm going to start off a little backwards, I guess, by producing the container that I'm going to store the water in first. And I'm going to build two of these. There we go. Let's go and connect them. All right. With this, I'm going to do the water extractor. And I'm going to go with the commercial one. So, I forget the exact amount I need. <laughs> well, let's count. I'm just going by the... Uh, by, I have just enough resources to build just enough water uh, that this base needs. 
So, um, uh, the list of materials are not going to be provided in the description. Instead, I'm going to have a website that's a resource calculator that you could use to plan out your outposts. So, it'll uh, tell you exactly how many resources you need, specifically to how you want to set up your base. So, let's go and produce this water. This stuff has got to be spread out, man. Each one of these has a big footprint. I guess I'll favor uh, the outskirts, I guess. I don't how, I don't like how finicky this could be with the terrain. It's kind of goofy. All right, I have just enough mats for one more, and that should be just enough water, man. All right, so let's go and connect all this water, and let's hopefully I won't miss any. Someone mentioned in the comments in one of my outpost videos that each greenhouse requires like three of the base water producers. That you might need. I don't know how many you need as far as like, um, what's this? The industrial, the commercial version of this water uh, extractor that I'm making? It's the commercial extractor out. Okay. All right, so that's six, that's seven uh, water extractors and that's, that's how much I need. Uh, before I build the power, I'm gonna make sure I set uh, the barns and the greenhouses to uh, whatever resource that I want. Okay, so let's do the top greenhouses first. Okay, so I'm gonna have this one set to make membrane. This other one I'm gonna have set to structural. Boom. So membrane, I don't care about nutrient. And the other four is gonna be for fiber because my animals are gonna be hungry. They hungry, y'all. Fiber. Fiber. Fiber number three. And a fiber number four. Did I connect the fiber um, to uh, my barns? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. So these have got to feed the barns. That's the whole purpose of these bad boys. Okay, since I have all that set, let me make sure everything's connected. All the fiber, all this other stuff. And now I can connect to water, because I learned, also from a comment, I wish I could remember everybody's name so I can give credit where it's due, but every time you switch whatever resource these things are producing, it, it disconnects the water connection. So that's why I was like, in my past videos, I was like, I could have swore I connected to water. I did, it's just when I switched the resource, it disconnected to water. So now, uh, all of these need water. There we go. Now let's go with the power. Um, I'm just gonna place the power up all up in here because I need to set up my inter um, systems cargo link over here you know what let's do that let's go and do my inter systems cargo link so yeah it's gonna go right over here perfect and actually I'm gonna build the storage for over here too so I'm just gonna do uh, the large the large box and I'm just gonna place it in the front it doesn't matter and I'm gonna make three of these why I don't know three just sounds nice there we go Go and connect these bad boys up. Connect these over here. So this is gonna be my collection stuff, so... Whoop, don't want to set that as the top. Gotta set that to the bottom. There we go. And uh, you need fiber. Like, you can't create beds and stuff without fiber, so... Uh, yeah. This should be good. All right, so that's all the greenhouses. Let's do the animal husbandry stuff. Let's not forget the gold. Mmm, gold. I don't know, does gold taste good? I don't think so. It tastes like nothing. Have you ever had like gold dust or gold flakes or anything? It's stupid. Just makes it so that you have gold flake flecked poop. Okay, so that's everything. Um, I think all I need now is power. And we're gonna go with the solar domes because this has a weak atmosphere, so this is just the best bang for your buck. All right, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna just place them wherever, man. Wherever the terrain will allow me. So just build it until I have enough and I'll build like one extra more for redundancies. There we go, we are powered up and everything is up and running. Nice. Yep, I took this time to uh, go ahead and um, move my ship here. 
All right, uh, let's uh, rest or sleep for a couple hours and make sure everything's working right. Oh no, these trees clipping through my stuff. This sucks. All right, let's see if everything is making it to the cargo link. Boom, We've got the gold the ornament, the membranes, the structurals, and the fiber. That's exactly what I wanted. And the membrane. So uh, let's make sure, just double checking. I already know because I tested it, but um, better safe than sorry. Let's make sure that my water is actually building up. Yep, the water is indeed building up. All right, this base is good to go. I'm gonna consider this done. But now we got to um, set up the other end of this cargo link. And I'm gonna show you like how I'm gonna change up how I'm doing my intersystems are just my complete um, infrastructure as far as shipping goes. Let me show you what I'm gonna, what I'm doing here. Okay, so here we are at my main base on Gogarin in the Alpha Centauri system, and uh, I need to set up a second cargo li uh, intersystems cargo link, but not for the reasons why you might think. I will explain momentarily, but first let me go ahead and build this. Okay, so I'm going to place this just on the other side of my storage here. I hate it when it does that. Why does it flip? There we go. Alright, so there's my second intersystems cargo link, but I am not going to connect it to the outpost that I just built. I know it's kind of baffling. The main reason why I have this here is so that I have a dedicated distribution just specifically to get helium to this, uh, my outpost here. Ideally, I would have created my main outpost on a planet that helium that I had helium uh, on, but I didn't, so I have to do it this way. So what I'm doing is I'm replacing all my chained uh, cargo links from outpost 1 through 5. And I'm just going to put an intersystems cargo link at each one of those outposts. And each outpost will only have one cargo link, the intersystems uh, cargo link version of it. And the way how I'm going to do it, instead of chaining everything all together, forwarding all the materials here little by little, because by the time all the resources get to outpost 5, you're only getting a handful of the resources at a time being delivered. And um, I don't want my cargo links to just be running, you know, 24 hours a day, just coming and going. It's like such a racket just having one here. So what, I do, what I'm going to do is whenever I need any resources, I'm going to connect this one cargo link I have here to whatever outpost that has the resources I want, take in a delivery, and then disconnect it. So I, I think of that as a very immersive way to go. Like when you think about like how the real world wor the real world works. When a factory needs resources, it just orders the resources uh, and whatever resources it needs, it gets delivered, and that's it. And then when it needs more, to, uh, it'll order more. So that's the way how I'm like visualizing this. If I ever run out of resources or need resources from one of my outposts, I'll just like place an order, if you will. So connect it, get a few deliveries, then disconnect it. That way, the ships are just constantly coming and going. So I just think of, um, that's a really immersive way to play this, to treat my resources and my outposts. And um, I don't plan to create like an XP farm out of my resources, so this is fine. So I don't need to have all my resources constantly coming in. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, so I built this cargo link for helium, so I need to build uh, some um, gas tanks. So I don't, I don't need a lot. Helium is a gas, right? Yeah. And I think just one will probably do it. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build two. Gonna connect these, and then this is gonna connect over here. There we go. All right. So this end is done. Now I need to go to my outpost that has helium on it and build another intersystems cargo link there. Yeah, and setting up my helium this way is going to be perfect for me because you only need to have helium at one end of your intersystems cargo link for it to work. You don't need helium on both sides. So the outpost I just built, there's no helium on that planet. So, yeah, this is going to work out great. I'm looking forward to this. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm at outpost one. This is my outpost that has helium. So I'm going to need to set up an intersystems cargo link to uh, my main outpost. And I'm going to delete the cargo link that I set up uh, to send helium to Outpost 5, which was my um, first inter-systems cargo link that uh, was sending all my stuff to my main base, but I don't want to do it that way anymore. So first we much must determine which one is which. Okay, so here is my collection storage for my gas, so this cargo link needs to go. And I replace it with an inter-systems cargo link. The guy's getting tired of me saying intersystems cargo link. I'm starting to annoy myself. 
All right, so do that. And I need to pour this to here. And I need this to feed this. There we go. All right, that's done. And uh, eventually I'm gonna replace all the regular cargo links. Like I'm gonna replace this one as the inter-systems cargo link. So whenever I need aluminum, I'll just place a direct order to this outpost to get my shipment. All right, let's go back to the main base. Okay, I'm back at my main base. What's annoying is that when you fast travel to your outpost, which is the only way to get to your outpost, my ship doesn't show up at my uh, my landing pad here. Anybody knows how to get that to work? The way at the I think the reason why it doesn't work is because my uh, my uh, landing area that I used to set up this outpost in the first place, that's where my ship is going. So if I could like delete that the landing area, then maybe it'll work. Okay, so, oh, right, I gotta set up this cargo link for my helium shipments. And I'm gonna let this run for a while until every, all my storage is saturated. I'll probably just keep, yeah, I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want ships constantly coming and going, it gets annoying. Anyways, alright, here we go. So here's our post one, that has my helium, let's connect it. Boom. Here it comes. All right, that's my first helium delivery, woo! So I need to place an order for my structural and ornamental and membranes and stuff. So let's go to this, my main um, cargo link here. And now I just go here and look. Just by hovering over it, I know what's gonna be sent here. So I'm gonna get gold, ornament, membrane, fiber, and structural. So yeah, I'll just connect that, get a few deliveries and then turn it off. So I'm gonna get two deliveries of that. So it's gonna be like 500 mass worth of stuff each shipment, and that should be more than enough to continue expanding my um, outpost. Here he comes! And well, there you have it, friends. I got the setup that I want, so yeah. So look, yeah, right now, look at this. Um, the way how I had it set up before, where all my resources were being forwarded from one outpost to the, uh, to the next. So here is where it was coming from before, my outpost five, and you can see here, it just has a bunch of the resources here, and it's just a handful of stuff. Right? So if I needed a bunch of aluminum, I'd have to import a crap load of this other stuff just to get enough aluminum. So now, once I have everything, uh, when I replace all my regular cargo links with just inter-systems cargo links, I could just order just aluminum in bulk. And that's gonna be great. And it'll clean up like the footprint that I'm leaving all over the place. So every outpost is only gonna have one cargo link, an inter-systems cargo link. And that's it, except for my main base because, um... I didn't realize I was going to do this, but yeah, so for you guys planning on your outpost, make sure your main base has helium on it so you don't have to have two cargo links at one, um, one outpost, if you want to do what I'm doing anyways. So there you go, outpost development continuing on, I'm having fun with this, just figuring out the mechanics and working around the bugs and everything. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, so I hope you learned something, hope you were entertained, have a great day, thank you for coming by, I really appreciate your support, hey, I love ya, and I'll see you in the next episode!